My name is Dr. Hope Machimanesibu, your host, and I would like to take this opportunity and appreciate you for supporting this movement by subscribing, liking, and of course by sharing. We promise to keep you entertained, educated, elevated, equipped, as we will be bringing different guests right here to educate us in different areas of our lives. Family, Please invite a friend and tell a friend to tell a friend and a cousin. <laughs> Let them come here. <laughs> our guest, our African queen, she is here today, guys. I am so excited. You don't want to know. If you can tell me who, I will give you, yeah, see. Okay. <laughs> She's one woman who's extremely talented, a singer, Composer, can I say it? A singer, composer, producer, dancer, actress, radio presenter, social activity, vocal coach, oh my God, a teacher, oh my God. <laughs> po, 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 po. <laughs> She's a daughter of a legendary regional Bunun Sangoti, jazz, drama, and businessman. Merlin Tenjiwe Noke, singer, songwriter, from a legendary, you know what, group, Mango Group. Where were you, Nyeska, to say Mango Group? <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> and her legendary aunt, uh, two Nokwe from the Shaka Zulu fame, who played, my goodness, a great role in guiding her. Oh my gosh. Guess who is with me today in the studio? Guess who? Guess who? <laughs> <laughs> my queen. Rope for hope. I tell you. Come now. <laughs> Come now. Yes, and I just read your profile and I'm thinking, you know, your, your, your mango groove, your, your king lion or lion king. What do you call it? Lion? Yeah, lion king. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> thank you and thank you for coming. We really appreciate you. Thank you so much for having me and thank oh you for your gosh. inviting smile. This smile is absolutely <laughs> out of this world, people. It's so inviting. It just, it, it just it brings back hope. Yeah, thank you so <laughs> much. Okay, somebody sitting at home and saying, she looks so familiar. I think I saw her somewhere. Yes, you may know her from the first season of SA Idols Code yeah. Class of 2002. <laughs> she you was the first far. black woman to reach top. Top five, yes. Yes. Because, yes. uh, yeah, yeah, they were looking for the top four, and we were six in the finals. Okay. And then Ezra fell off, and then I fell off on the same day. Yeah, and, oh, yeah, wow. and then... 2002? Yeah, the first one in Africa. <laughs> the first one in you Africa. You went that far, ne, Hope. You yeah. went that far. Yeah, you know yeah. me, I dig. <laughs> I dig. We are cool. <laughs> We Let me cool, tell you something else again. Mm -hmm. You might have seen her on television role. She appeared on Sarafina. Yes. <laughs> when you were 10 years. I was very little. In fact, I didn't know I was in a movie set. I thought everything was <laughs> happening for real. It didn't click. <laughs> well, this is not real. But oh I guess it worked. God. Because, you know, when you act, you have to make it real. So I guess it worked. And you also appeared on season one, Villain. Oh, yes, that was a beautiful role. And the wife. And now the wife, yes. As Mama. Umaga. 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 Okay, no, I've said a lot. Now it's your time. Umaga. Umaga. Two, two, two kids and the wife. Okay. My langa, don't forget my langa. Your langa. <laughs> oh, my way. Yeah. Girl, tell me who are you? My goodness, like... Sure, where do I begin after you <laughs> so much? But let me just say that I am a mother. Mm -hmm. I am a daughter. Mm -hmm. I am a teacher. Mm -hmm. I am 
a work in progress. Mm, um, that's powerful. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And I'm a great student. Also. You know, when we talk about the mother, I saw your kids on TikTok. My gosh. Like, I know. They are flying. Like, I look at them. I'm like, what is their TikTok handle? Because mana. There you go. I mean, yes. I mean. I mean, seriously. Yeah, no, seriously. Like, they surprised us. They made us not go to sleep. In fact, they were just playing around <laughs> on my TikTok, I had a pyramid. I saw that. And because then, I tried next to thing you know, you, things are happening on my phone. I'm like, what's going on? Oh, like, my zzz, goodness. Zzz, like, every zzz, 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 uh, all the way, I'm thinking, what is going on? And since then, we've never rested. We've not rested because mm. they bring light. They you know, bring they've been light. bringing the light inside our home. And then they just used social media, just playing around, and then mm. they brought light to wow. yet another part of the world because they've been, you know, um, introducing themselves slowly in different parts mm. of the world. I'm sure yeah. even when they're washing dishes, they're like, da, da. there's always music. In fact, my little one, uh, Umfundo, the mm. dancer, the one who dances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the one who appear and disappear. <laughs> <laughs> I call he's, it appear and yeah, disappear. Yeah, he's, he's always commanded his presence <laughs> in this life. And he's, he's like, pushing the other one. I'm like, yeah. look at the, at the movie set right now. Yes, like, yes, like, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was the gosh. child that came out of the blue. Like, what's going on? Like, oh, okay, all in right. In fact, I thought okay. I was sick. Oh, okay. And it's so okay. funny <laughs> because it's like the same story as my grandmother or something. Um, but I thought I was sick, and no, I was actually, there was number Karen, three. this beautiful You know, and it happened thing. to be the last one, you know, because after him, there were complications, so I can never have another baby. And I look at him, I'm like... Would you wish to have you another, actually, if there was a chance to? You know, I don't know. <laughs> but you look like you love... You know, there's like an addiction to, like, raising a baby oh, that yeah, women yeah, need yeah. to check. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay? <laughs> Check yourself, woman. Check and as you keep on bringing and say, oh, what did I do? I think I the thing that happens is that when you're still working on yourself in life yeah. and you lack yeah. a bit of self-love mm. and you learn to become a mother to somebody mm. like a baby that mm. appreciates you and mm. looks at you with all that love, mm. it kind of like gives you that much comfort and, and things like that. But then I think the biggest thing for mothers is to do the work, mother. Mm. Don't rely on our babies mm, to fill that for sure, void for, for us sure. yeah but definitely Mpundo was like I'm here mm. don't forget me you know because you know because Mana started uh, busking um, on the streets of uh, Maboneng because people oh, okay. always wanted to sing you know for yeah. audience they sing you so know? beautifully like wow yeah wow. and then every time they would introduce them and say thank you thank you ladies and gentlemen that was because Mana you'd be sitting somewhere they'd be like and Mpundo Oh, like don't forget me, I'm here. Oh, okay. So that will be the little one say, and me, I'm here. Yeah, Gila. I'm the man behind Gila. 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 My queen, Yevo. you have worked on putting a lot in your life. Uh -huh. And um, the challenges that you met on your journey in your music um, career, what yes. are those challenges that you will look back and say, yes, there were challenges, but I appreciate. Yeah, definitely. We are in a school of life. Yeah. You know? um, yeah. But when things are still happening, it seems like, wow, why, why, why? Mm. But I think the greatest challenge that I've experienced in the music industry is quite, it's like the music industry has the ability to put you in a mental state where you don't recognize yourself anymore and you lose your confidence. Seriously? Yes, they do. They I thought do. it would bring out that... No, you know. no, no. Because as musicians, we are very delicate souls. And when mm. somebody appreciates what we are giving from deep down in our hearts, I touched Inside. the mic, from deep down in our hearts, yeah. And then you learn somewhere on the way that it, it's not actually you that they cared for. They cared for what you can do for them. Oh my then it kind of shocks you, you know, because when oh I, you are, you are like, goodness. artists are very giving, you know, they, they dig Ooh. very deep and they give you. And then when you, when, you are, when you receive, there's that magic, magical exchange. So sometimes the industry, you know, you don't meet the right exchange, you know, between mm. you, the artist, the creator, and whoever's receiving it. That once you once powerful. you meet the big sharks with the you know bow ties and in top floors, and they you know once you are officially under them, then things kind of change and you like it surprises you even though you mm. know about the business that it mm. is a business, 
but it does surprise you that oh my gosh oh by the way they it's what they really care about it's, is the business that i can make for them does does so that for some of us it put you guys it, under some health issues and some definitely. depression and because yeah. now you realize oh so you don't value me you value what i have so if what I have is lost, then you don't care about me. Yes, because you need to do the work. You know, sometimes I feel like the industry needs to set itself up to make sure that if you know you can make the business out of this person, then you have like a sort of like a, am I levels? Mm. Would it before you even sign this person, let us just go into their wellness, you know, life oh and check goodness. and check themselves yeah. a little bit, you know, because you music is our comfort it's it, it walks with us in our journey mm. of appreciating ourselves and loving ourselves more so mm. whilst you're still on that journey somebody just you know you know come here mm. let's mm. do this mm. you know mm. to the point where even your what what you go through that is not so nice they even you know work from that you know because mm. they say this is that okay you know the way you're feeling actually take it out on your music like go in the studio and like you're thinking, what's going okay. on, you know? Yeah. So, but then you learn. That's why I'm saying you life learn. is a school. Yeah. And then you, 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 you use yourself to, to help others to know that, hey, fill your cup. Let it First, all. Let them cup, drink from the source. Let up. it overflow and then let them grab yeah. whatever is, is coming out of oh, it. Don't, because that's, we go very deep. We take all of us and we find mm -hmm. we haven't even filled our cups, you know? And is that how sometimes you find that lots of artists um, they will do so well, but when you look at them, it's like their life, it's really not, because these people, they were just looking at the business side, not at your well-being. Yeah, so it's, in, in the business of music, it's very important that they combine the business with the well-being mm. of the creator and the artist mm. themselves, because if those two are separate, mm. you can't really, it's, you, you, it, it's not a win-win. One will win, one will lose. So oh definitely, if you're an artist, you have to make sure that you are full. You are mm. absolutely full because you've been given a gift that you are sure of. Yes. And it's up to you to, to take care of that gift, to manage it, to mm. nurture it, um, and, and, and not be pulled by anybody mm. to believe anything either than the fact that this gift doesn't belong to you it's mm. been sent to you and given to you to manage mm. so the person actually that you should be worried about is the god that created you wow and not the company that signed you wow. mm. <laughs> petty and alfred nokwe yes. are your grandparents yes and how was it growing up around them see i was the lucky <laughs> one wow because i grew up with a, a family of artists mm -hmm. entertainers mm -hmm. and growing up with my <laughs> My, my, my grandmother and my grandfather was quite mm. an interesting ride because mm. they were not, um, they were the kind of artists that were extremely gifted and talented and mm. also very disciplined in, mm. in their art and uh, their talent. So, but also they were very giving. They used to um, give back to the community all the time. Is that that family where you find that you come back and you find other kids here and there was sharing. always people. Oh my goodness. Always people, <laughs> always people, you know, and when I, every, when I grow up and I happen to choose this industry as mm -hmm. well, cause it was calling me. Yeah. Everybody I meet in the industry, all the legends, every time I meet mm. them, they would tell me stories of when they were at home. Oh things my that were goodness. Happening. They would thank my, they will thank my uh, grandfather, grandfather and my grandmother. Uh -huh. They would what just tell me me how much mm -hmm. they contributed to their lives so I, I took a, a lot of uh, bits and pieces of mm -hmm. their goodness and said I will carry on with this legacy and make sure that I I do the same I'm sure you are passing that also to your children right definitely yeah. definitely <laughs> we we as a family we actually run a school mm -hmm. for the community uh, under oh. our NGO, Nogwe mm -hmm. Creative Development Foundation mm -hmm. and the school is called Amajika Arts and Life where we just open the doors. Anybody and everybody is invited. Are you serious? If you don't know what to do with your child, we are here to tell you that art is a tool that can build them. And then mm. also art is a tool that can teach them about life. And then we, we kind of open the space for them. We're like, just explore your talents, mm. showcase yourself, and mm. then we are there to guide you. Mm. But also we are there to tell you 
the importance of filling your cup. Oh, yes, and yes, how to yes, manage which is cup. very important. Mm -hmm. In your home, um, you, you, because it's a family background, just paint me a picture <clears throat> when everybody was gathered around. What was happening? Were you singing? Shell Road to Fame <clears throat> was happening mm. at home. <laughs> you know, remember Shell Road to yes, Fame? Yes, yes. that yes. show. So we were like, you know, eight o'clock. Hey, man, we like in our room, <laughs> like, like fixing. Okay, well, you today like, we're going to perform like with you. And the, in and, the house. Yeah, and Mkulu <laughs> Nokok, it was. It was a real Seriously? thing for us. And then sometimes you would dance, mm -hmm. sometimes you'd sing, sometimes myself and my, and my cousin would decide mm -hmm. we're going to be the presenters today. Mm -hmm. And they would actually give you that time. You know, wow. they would sit and they know, hey, cut the shell road to fame in Are our home. Are you serious? Yes. We then you the stand TVs. there being serious. like Yeah, we present the next act <laughs> and the next act and the next act. <laughs> wow. So idols at home started a long time ago. <laughs> Wow. wow. And of course, we are seeing that. I mean, even your children, we are seeing like your boys, two men, they are liking their TikTok. How is your feeling about that? Yeah. Like these big guys, they are liking their... Jada Pinkett, I'm, I'm Timberland. I'm too afraid that they, they might say, hey, we're taking them blah, wherever to study music or whatever. Because really, they love them. Well, if they, the taking world them, if they take them to go study music... <laughs> By it's all fine. means, let's go yes. and study because yes. education That's, is very important. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then we're not afraid because we now understand that if there are interests and you mm. want to get into the business, mm. you need to set yourself up. And the first most important thing is your legal representative. Mm. So finding the right legal representative also, you know, who can... Who, where the, there's chemistry, but yeah. then the person is well informed, yeah. uh, but yeah. also has a bit of creative... Um, talents within mm -hmm. themselves mm -hmm. so that because everything works together mm -hmm. you know for mm -hmm. good uh, but you need a legal rep all the time to help you translate your mission and vision mm. in a contract let's talk about your music mm. your 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 mm. journey in this music like mm. you have started way wh when did you record your first album my first ever recording was titled black Black rose, like double black, B. black, yeah, like black, 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 black rose. rose. And mm. it was a project that we did under <clears throat> our um, foundation, okay. Um, the school that also trained us, Amajiga. Um, but Amajiga is what it's, it's a, a school. school, yeah, it's a, it's a school, it's a oh. school that operates in different spaces, okay. With, sometimes okay. we collaborate with um, centers. Uh, art centers. Sometimes we collaborate with other NGOs, mm. uh, but it's 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 a career. It's a it's a it's an arts and life based curriculum mm. where we create a playground for young people where they can feel safe but also grow. So awesome. the first the first album I did was under that. It was our project mm. when I was in matric. Mm. We're thinking, okay, a lot of us don't know how we can afford mm. to pay for our tertiary. Mm. So in Amajiga, they, 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 they teach you that you can be responsible for whatever it is that you want in life. Mm. So you've got gifts, then work on a project and then send it out there and then people let people donate mm. for your schooling. Oh, awesome. So it was a project for that. It was titled Black Black Rose. It had the late uh, Begim Selegu play oh, wow. in it. It's a very precious project. Wow. Uh, we had wow. some, some, some wonderful band from, I think, was it from Brazil or something, mm -hmm. that did one song with us there. And all of them were donating. Mm. And uh, Concord, also the bass guitarist, yeah, 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 yeah. he also played. My Beggy, goodness. Beggy wow. Koza played. Um, and all of those artists, the legendary, legendary. artists, were oh, giving their goodness. time and donating their time because they knew the purpose for it was for us to continue our education. So that was my first one. Wow. Okay, black, let's sing one of the rose. songs from the Black Black Rose. We can sing Black Black Rose on the side of this tunnel in the cracks of the Okay, creature. let's start all over oh, again. Okay. Let's sing. <laughs> okay, let's start all over. The thing is, you've got a beautiful voice and when I come in, it's just going to be, okay, let's go. Black Black Rose. What do I sing? Should I sing alto? You go. Or okay, I... you go. Doom, 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 okay, that's doom, that's doom, easy. Doom, that's better. Doom, okay, let's go. Doom, 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 okay, let's go. Okay, doom, start. Doom, 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 or should I start? Doom, 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 doom. I'm in the class, guys. Can you see that? Doom, 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 doom. Okay, now you say. Doom, 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 do
Dum, dum, black, dum, black rose. Dum, 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 dum. Oh my okay, God. I, knew. I missed it. It's a beat. five four time. <laughs> it's I a five four just. Beat. It's like, dum, dum, dum. It's like, dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, I raise my hands. Okay, I'm going to class. I'm going to class. No, you don't need class. <laughs> You've got so much joy in you. Music is about spreading joy. Awesome. You don't need to change that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, let's take a break and we will be right back. Just grab your coffee as we are going for a break. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> enjoying the show with the African queen. I mean, really, she is still here with us. My African queen. queen. <laughs> uh, you are. No, you are. You, if, it, it, if it, there was another title above that. Oh, wow. But African queen in Rovugazi. In Rovugazi. You see, I'm learning Zulu. Yes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you were featured at Sarafina, and what was your line on the Sarafina? Sarafina is home. That was my line. But you sound like then. Why? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it's happening for real. Okay. But you know, the <laughs> interesting story is Umam Leleti Kumalo, who yeah. plays Sarafina, was yeah. actually raised from the yard of my family. Are you serious? Yes, that's, what, that's where they groomed her. Wow. And groomed her confidence. My aunt just directed her focus and said, this child needs to know from me that she's great. You know, and then she'd give Shout her all. Shout out to grandma yes. and grandpa. Shout out. No, grandma and grandpa and my aunt. aunt. Oh. Dr. Tunogwe. Hey, there we go. Pop, pop. Let's do the pop, pop, pop. Pop, 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 pop. She used to, she used to run Amajiga again. You know, do yoga and invite the kids to join her. And oh then after gosh. that, teach them songs and everything. Yeah. So, who um, was there? Backyard. Bebeng ah. and things like that. So, so they gave you that line. You know, they didn't give me a choice to be anywhere else but this industry. <laughs> Yo, I tell you. <laughs> but yeah. After Idols, mm -hmm. in the Idols 2002, the first Idols, mm -hmm. you got signed by Sony, BMG. Sony, well, it was first BMG, and then oh, okay. it, they merged and became Sony, Sony BMG, BMG. And then now it's Sony. Oh, and you released your album. My debut album called yes. Music to Me, Umgo Ma. But however, a little bit said things went from good to... I think there were a lot of changes. So the bed was good. Oh. And I was just affected by it, you know, like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that, you know, when you're running around between mm -hmm. things, between mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. politics that you don't want to get involved in. 
Um, but to cut a long story short, it mm -hmm. was quite a ride. And uh, I was one of those very committed artists that, okay. that I remember at some point I went to them, I was like, you guys, you know, artists are always asking not to be exploited. Me, I'm sitting here, I'm like, exploit me. <laughs> Use me, take my music somewhere. Oh I'm my. here, I'm God. ready for it, you know. Oh, wow. But uh, it, it, it went to that level. And I think the one, of, one of the hardest things that I experienced was every time I would meet about my project, mm -hmm. you know, the response that I get back will, 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 will in that conversation, mm -hmm. another artist will be in that conversation. And I'm thinking, why are, are we, we now talking about um, another yeah. artist? Why Talk about you, me. Why are yeah. you saying, why are you comparing me to another artist? Why are you mm. saying, we, we, what's your vision? Somebody else's vision is clear. What's Talk your vision? Me. No, you don't, you, you like, take time to understand where I'm at because I'm coming with something maybe that is different that you're not used to. And maybe you want to be comfortable and do what you are used to. Mm. So it was, it was, I think that was the challenge. And because I was like little still, I was, how old was I? 20 year old. Yeah, or 21, 22, mm. 23. Mm. No, I was 23 because okay. I, I just come back from New York. And you have traveled so many countries. Yeah, because European at first, countries like after, after Idols, yeah. um, I thought, let me take my time mm -hmm. and not, quick, not quickly sign. Mm -hmm. And then I joined an agency, Munin Lee, may her soul forever rest in peace. Mm. And the first audition that I went to, I got the job. And then I was in New York. Um, and then things happened. I lost my uncle during the time I was in the, on the tour mm. until I, I thought, you know what, I'm not, I, I want to go home. I can't anymore. And when I came home, then I started to be serious about recording the debut album. So, and when we were traveling, you had this unique, you will help me to say, to say it nicely, Umakweyana. Umakweyana, Umakweyana. Yeah, umakweyana is, a, is an <laughs> instrument that we, we were taught by Okoko. Basi, oh. Gandla, a show, oh, wow. a big veal. It's an, a traditional bow instrument and it's, it's my baby because it was played by women back in the days because okay. Umundu Esfazane was not allowed to just talk back. You know, you didn't have the right to say what you feel about things. So they used to use the instrument to talk about Mm -hmm. There are problems in the mm -hmm. house, away somewhere in the river. So as they're talking and they're, you know, oh. it's therapy, it flows with the water. Oh. It flows. And then so you play it like... Like this. It's a color bash that you play on your left breast. And that's uh, okay. where your heart Only is. Oh. So it was a therapy. Traditional oh. music therapy. Wow. For women. But wow. then I know that other um, other other cultures men do play do it. Play. Like I think Mandebele men play it, um, Namavenda men play it, mm. and in Brazil men play it when they do the capoeira. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Next time we must show that instrument you play. Yeah, it. I was supposed to bring it actually. Why didn't I bring it? But you owe me. I owe you. Ne? You owe me a song. I owe you a song. Ne? Yeah. Yeah. I owe you a song. Like yeah, what song? You need to sing me a song. I'm going to sing you a song that is in my Look how excited album. you just look. This did just come natural. In my, in my de on my debut album, um, okay. um, Music to Me, Umgoma, that was Umgoma. released by Sony BMG. Okay. And thank you, Sony BMG. Thank you yes. so much. It's now there on the shelf. <laughs> um, but I want to sing my grandmother's song. Okay. That is okay. in there. Let's it's, go. Gila mela zela sho nangani wami uye Indo tingi shi engi ngina luto uye Mgani wami uye Mgani wami uye I'm singing that song is yes. because I'm currently paying tribute to her right now with what I'm doing at the moment. Awesome. Mm. Awesome. Mm. We love her. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate that. Petty Masugu. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> oh, Masugu. Oh, oh, this song. Okay. Yeah. All right. If I knew how to ululate, I was going to 
so I But there you did it. Oh, is that the right? Yeah. Okay, please. Okay, clap hands for me. Po, 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 po. <laughs> Describe for me in just five words who I am. Five words. I'm a German eye, so you'll never get five word descriptions from me. Okay. 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 Just five paint a words. Picture. I'm trying. Let oh, me try my no. best. We Jesus Christ. I think you need what are. You said what? What are? What are? I need what are. What are. I need what are. <laughs> she means what? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I think the one, the one, the, 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 the one thing I know about myself is, mm -hmm. I, I am always a student. Um, mm. The best student. I'm always so open to learn. Like teach me, you know, mm. teach me, teacher. I'm very open to learn. I'm a student. Um, but also, I'm... You've got a pure heart. I do. My goodness, since you came here, you like appreciate everything and keep on saying, you're smart. Oh, guys, this is... And I'm like... No, but they say... But I, I mean, if, at if, your if level... If you see something good, you know, appreciate it. You no, guys... I'm just saying, at your yeah. level, people will just come and say, hey, why you came... You know, you know, but you're just having such Look, a humble... Okay, the best way to life. describe... Humble. Oh, I know life, and I okay. know I you don't want to go. There. I know what it takes to get off that bed and just go on with the day. So when you arrive in spaces like this, it's people running it. You know, you get up and you go and you do it, and the job is done. That's that's something that we should celebrate. Mm. We should celebrate. You're doing amazing work. Ah, oh, thank you so much. You and your team. Yay, shout out to you too. And my brother, yeah. Chillax Mpanza. Bo, bo, bo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have seen the true colors of this industry. What lesson are you giving to your kids? Or Ooh. somebody out there in the music space. Let me just simplify. And they're frustrated. They're like, what Let me just simplify it for everybody. Yeah. A lesson for artists, kid artists or youth or adults mm. or anybody in life, mm. whatever career that you choose, mm. the biggest lesson is any th the way you are at home, mm. that is what you become outside. So your, your, your project at home, in your own home, the mm. simple things like taking care of your home, loving your home, mm. having respect, for mm. the elders yourself, mm. you know, self love. Yeah, ekaya, ekaya. Let let everything that you are ekaya mm. be, you know, because then you are getting into a habit of how you are going to become when you go out there. Because Unkulunkulu will bless us all. There's enough yeah. for everyone. Yes, there's definitely. enough for everyone. But he knows Uguti kalekaya. Mm. That's why mm. he's he's. He's, wow. you know, he's like, we come from a home. So yeah. that's the first level mm. of building yourself. So everything, all the teachings that you get at home, mm. don't debate them, you know. Don't live clean, yeah. live be neat. You like, love yourself. Wow. Love yourself. And I will underline that in bold because I've had a challenge of loving myself for a long time. And it could delay the very gift that God felt it was ready for you to enjoy many, many months. Have you ever been... So I don't really think that there's a dark moment that comes in life. Mm -hmm. It's just a wave, you know, up and down, up and down. It's a mm -hmm. sine wave. Mm -hmm. And when times are are up there, you need to be prepared how to handle it when things are and going well. That, that time and then when coming. things are down, yeah. you need to be prepared how mm. to handle that. So you are constantly living in a, a, a life where you have to grab enough tools to be able to manage yourself when things are good and when things are not so good. So I didn't have a that dark one, moment, a but it's just up statement. and down. But I know that in all the up and downs, I was being taught you know, how mm. to love myself deeper. Deeper, deeper. Mm. Mm -hmm. You constantly talk about loving yourself. Mm -hmm. Because and that was the greatest challenge for me. Yeah. Because I thought I'm loving oh. myself if I'm, if I'm living in my gift and I'm taking care of my gift. But there are other things that you would do in life that will, that will indicate to you that you mm -hmm. do lack self-love. Yeah. You know, the things that you allow people to do in your life, um, the things that you take, you know, allow people to 
you know mm. so it, it has it's not them doing it to you it's your lack of your love for yourself and after you've realized that self-love you started practicing it and you had a big comeback in 2021 2023 on tv well, yes go well, Let's go. I think I think <laughs> I'm very lucky to be surrounded by one of the the, 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 the greatest women, as you said at the beginning, who yeah. guided me in my career, Dr. Yeah. Du Norway. Yeah. She's a yeah. pool of joy, and things happened to her, but you will never feel it at any point yeah. of any day. Wow. She just is as enthusiastic about mm. life. She's optimist. She's an optimist, you know. Mm. So mm. it was really easy for me to be able to bounce back. Mm, mm, at a mm. time and get back in in the business was you know wow 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 yeah but also you were at simba and you were this line yeah, what, 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 what were you doing there? i was the voice of simba when i was little i think i was 11 or 7 i don't know I what can't what were you doing it was a, a zulu it was a zulu lion king okay. movie version it was okay. a lion king zulu movie version right okay and they couldn't find a zulu um, kid who can sing. Okay. So, oh. And Simba is a is, is a boy, right? But okay. I have, as you can hear, I've got a, a nice yes. alto tone. Yes, man. I mean. So nice what were you saying there? What were you singing there? At Go uh, Oh, it's got to you. So is guys. It's alright. I mean. I so this is you. This is me in Zulu. Okay, is this? I oh, can't yeah. even so, believe. So this is you indeed. You know, like okay. I listened to that video and I'm like, <laughs> I had better technique when I was a baby. <laughs> no, you. I don't no, sound like no. that anymore. I was so disciplined when I was a child. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> What does your future hold for you in music, in acting, in like, uh, or should I say, Ayanda Pyramid? Ayanda Pyramid! Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just diving in, diving mm -hmm. in and making sure that all the gifts that God blessed me with, I actually do something about it. So mm -hmm. I love theater. You I love, love theater. theater. And currently mm -hmm. I'm a resident at the Bonnie Simon Residency at the Market uh, Laboratory, working on a new piece called Rest underscore IP. Rest underscore IP. Yes. What, what, why that name? It has a lot of meaning, mm -hmm. okay? The first that comes to mind is rest in peace, right? Oh. But then... Oh, we, rest underscore... Oh. The first that comes in mind is rest in peace. Yes. And the way we relate yes. to that RIP is like... Yes. It's like Sajab. Yes. But we don't see the meaning behind the word. And it's like rest in peace. So for me, I'm using it to remind myself whilst I'm still alive to find the time to, to rest in peace. Peace of mind Come should, on. should flow in my life. Yeah. But yeah. in order for yeah. it to flow, I need to be okay. I need to make sure all the ugly things that are on the surface, I dive through them Did and it. I dig deep and find where's Ayanda mm. and let that real trueness that come is me out. come out. So rest IP, uh, I do it with uh, my, my crew, which mm. I call the safe hub. Mm. Uh, my aunt, Dr. Tunogwe, mm. my daughter, Biko Star mm. uh, from Biko's Mana, and a friend, a good friend of mine, Ukitu, and uh, another friend of mine, Utso. You know, the way you're even talking, you know, you can see that you really... Yeah, I feel like <laughs> we've created a safe space for us mm. to remind each other of our greatness. But also rest underscore IP means mm -hmm. resting is your intellectual property. Come on. So we live in a... Okay, say that again. A, Slowly say that again. Resting is your intellectual property. Take care of it. Take po, care po, of it. Po, po, po. Yeah, don't let life just... <laughs> and then you fall flat on the ground. Like make sure you make time to rest. You know, make sure you take, make time to rest. But also, it is the abbreviation for restoration in progress. Mm. So we are restoring Aye. ourselves. Come on. We are restoring ourselves. Mm -hmm. And it's inspired by my own radio show called Restoration in Progress, which I wow. host. Wow. I'm coming there. Yeah, come. Come, <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk about that smile. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Queen, thank you.
you so much. Thank you so much. We for, wish you for all everything. the best from One Africa Radio TV, Rock for Hope Talk Show. Indeed, we want to see you there touching lives, transforming lives, because currently you are doing that. But we wish that God will bless you with more resources that you touch resources more bold. lives. Res resources. Yes. Bold. <laughs> so that you touch more lives, because what you are doing, very few people that do that. Mm. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having us. Hope. <laughs> we appreciate it. Rope, rope for hope. We give a rope of hope. Just grab a bit of this. Come, come, come. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We really, really appreciate. This was the great time that I had with the Queen right here. And please do follow her. See what she's doing. Support her. Connect her. Whatever. So that we can bring the best out of her. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. This is me, Dr. Ho Sibui, and we are saying peace. We are out.